Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Beanie 101 and I'm back with some more NHL 18 Hockey Ultimate Team and I've got a pack opening for you today. Uh, as always, uh, the pre-order packs are out so I've got a couple of Gold Plus packs to open and as has been the case for some of our recent pack openings, uh, I've got a few collectibles sitting there not doing much for me so I have converted them into these Sunset packs which have a Gold Rare player in each. The reason why I'm doing this is because so far these packs have been probably the best packs that I've opened this year. They've almost always contained something good. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up these Gold Plus packs and see what delights they have inside. As always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see some more pack openings, let me know in the comments below. We start off with... A contract and even Barbashev uh, and Borovisky. Uh, and uh, then we get a glut of consumables. Rasmus Ristolainen is our very first rare player. He's quick sell bait if ever I saw it. Jonathan Marcheseau is also up there. Marcheseau is uh, only an 83 overall. He does have an 88 overall upgrade, I think, for the ice set. So if you've got a gold collectible lying around, then yeah, you can upgrade Marcheseau uh, quite easily. Uh, uh, definitely been one of the better performers uh, on the Golden Seals in real life this year. Milan Lucic is our final gold rare player, so we can whiz through the rest. Oh, we get a Team of the Week collectible, which reminds me, there's a very good Team of the Week out this week, so I might just convert my collectibles into a Team of the Week player. Uh, that's a, a little bit of a bonus for us. So we will quick sell the stuff that we want to quick sell and chuck everything else in my collection. Um, off you go. And then we move on to the next Gold Plus pack. Fingers crossed we get some EA luck here. Come on, Rama, give me something good. We start off with a collectible with a contract. Uh, Clayton Stoner, Connor Brickley. I swear some of these players are new. Um, I, I know that obviously teams have had... Uh, players move up and down the lineup from the AHL and NHL, but um, I swear that there's some cards that I don't have yet that, that I probably should have had with the amount of packs that I've opened. We've got Kreider and Pominville as two of our uh, gold rare players. I quite like that Germany team logo. Very flash. Uh, and JT Miller is our third and final gold rare player. Uh, we get a Hut Tips collectible as well. Uh, let's go through and get rid of what we can't sell for good value. Mainly, uh, well, all of the gold rares, to be honest, and everything that I've got duplicates of. Off you go. I'll take the 1,450 pucks uh, and send the rest to my collection. Now we get on to the good stuff. The Sunset Packs should have something golden in them. A gold rare player in every single one, and I'm hoping for something strong. So uh, we're going to open up five of them, and hopefully something great is going to come out of it. First up, we have Brian Elliott. The one player that I have probably pulled more than any other player in Hockey Ultimate Team. What you don't want as a gold rare player is an 83 overall goaltender. Wow. Possibly the worst thing that you can get as a gold rare player. If you disagree, let me know if there's anything worse than an 83 overall goaltender. There we go. Phil Kessel, not a bad player. Um, if I hadn't already upgraded him to his ice version, which I think is a 91 or 92 overall, um, then uh, Kessel is a worthy player to pick up on your team with a gold collectible to convert him into that uh, ice upgrade. I already have him, so Kessel may well be sold. Next up, fingers crossed, oh, there we go. We get a Evolution William Nylander. Wow. That is, believe it or not, my very first Evolution pull of the year. And believe it or not, I have been uploading Hockey Ultimate Team videos for three years. And I have never pulled either an Evolution or a Movember card, as they used to be uh, called, 
it's my very first one. He's only 87 overall, but you know what, with the all-star break coming up, all sorts of crazy players get upgrades, and he's pretty decent offensively overall, and those synergies, Rocket Skates, Silky Smooth, and Thread the Needle, three of the best uh, synergies that you can get in a player, so Nylander is a very, very good player to have on our team. Ryan Ellis is next up, but I, you know, sincerely, are we going to do better than Nylander? Um, I would sneak a suspicion that he's worth, I don't know, 60k? 50, 60k maybe? Golden, absolutely golden. And Justin Schwartz is next up as well. So, ironically, even though Nylander is only an 87 overall, because he's an evolution player, uh, whilst we put uh, Schultz up on the market here, uh, because he's an evolution player, he's probably worth more than like a base Crosby or a base McDavid without a shadow of a doubt. In fact, he's probably worth more than half of the ice players. Um, so, as discussed, we got a team of the week collectible um, here today. So, um, I'm going to have a quick look at the team of the week. Um, just to uh, make sure that I do want to be trading in my collectibles. What do we have the prospect of winning? Marchand, Bergeron, Brassard, Seguin, Crosby, yep, Klingberg, Burns, Hedman, Carlson. There are some elite defensemen there and Jonathan Bernier. So we want to avoid Bernier and Brassard, but everybody else is going to be a 90-plus player. So we have a very... Very high chance at a 90-plus player today. We're going to trade in four Team of the Week collectibles and hopefully get something good. Um, I actually wouldn't mind a D-man. Um, as, as I've said, uh, my forward lineup is pretty stellar at this moment in time. Uh, but my defense is possibly uh, lagging behind a little bit. So an elite defenseman would be superb. Give me a Brent Burns. Give me an Eric Carlson. Um, but to be perfectly honest, any of them, uh, any of them will do. They're all 90-plus players. Uh, so let's go to our open packs and fingers crossed. A little bit of a bonus here for a team of the week item. What are we going to get? Let's open her up and see what goodies she contains. Fingers crossed. And we get a John Klingberg. That is fantastic. A couple of synergies on the team of the week players now. Uh, but 98 passing and puck control, some elite senses there. 99 for offensive awareness, 95 for defensive awareness, 94 stick checking. Not hugely physical at 86 body checking, uh, but 91 strength. He's going to be strong. He's a 92 overall player. He's going to be amazing. So John Klingberg is going to be making his way into my lineup without a shadow of the doubt. Thank you ever so much for watching. I've been the Beanie 101. Do the usual. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more of my Ultimate Team content. And hit that notify bell if you do not want to miss a thing. I appreciate all of your time and support. Keep watching. I will see you again in the next video.